Welcome to Round Roanoke, seen only on Cox 9. I'm Margaret Hunter Wade. It's spring in the Star City, and that means the festival season is in full swing. One of the most well known events is Festival in the Park. Event Zone Executive Director Larry Landall is here to tell us what's happening at the 42nd Annual Festival in the Park. Thanks for stopping by, Larry. Thank you, Margaret Hunter. Good nice to, to be you. here. Uh, so, what's on tap for this year's festival? Well, as you know, the, uh, we always have great concerts, and uh, they have just recently been announced. And um, we have all kinds of interesting and fun things planned for this year, including some uh, things that um, you know uh, come back year after year, like the great food and so on and so forth. Good. So, some of the favorites. So, as you mentioned, the concerts are a focal mm. point for the festival each year. What's the lineup this year? Well, we have four nights of great concerts. Um, uh, uh, Friday night is headlined by uh, uh, Grammy nominee Emerson Drive, uh, along with Steel Magnolia, who's uh, that's a two country acts. Um, Saturday night is um, John Popper, uh, who is the uh, front man of, right. from Blues Traveler. He has a new band he's traveling with this year and uh, this summer, and so uh, we're excited to have him on Saturday night. And then Sunday is a kind of a retro night, if you will, which is also Cox Communications night. Right. Um, the, uh, the Family Stone, which is Original members of Sly and the Family Stone um, uh, have put together a new, you know, their band and kept it together and added some new uh, elements to it. And uh, so it's going to be a real retro uh, kind of funk in the R&B night, uh, along with opening act, a tradition, uh, 1964, uh, okay. the Beatles tribute. And then uh, Monday, we, we conclude with another night of country music uh, headlined by the Eli Young Band. Great. Well, it yeah. sounds like lots of fun, good variety. So um, everybody knows Festival in the Park, but Event Zone actually puts on the festival. What is Event Zone's involvement and kind of purpose? Ah, yes. <laughs> well, our purpose is uh, is fairly simple. Uh, we are um, we're, we exist to put on events in downtown Roanoke and to help others put on events in downtown Roanoke, including things like the Down by the River Festival, which I know is uh, going to be talking with today. Yeah. And um, the uh, so that's what we, you know, we do a lot of events ourselves. We also help other folks put on a lot of the events and work with the city, kind of a go between between the city uh, staff and so on and so forth. And you do all of it very well. You make sure Roanoke has a good time. This is a busy time of year, as Absolutely. you can imagine. Absolutely. So um, part of an event like festival is the hundreds of volunteers. How many exactly do you have, and how can people get involved if they want to? Well, we try to make it as simple as possible. That's a good question. Mm -hmm. uh, the, uh, we, there are hundreds and hundreds, probably close to six or 700 volunteers that are used at Festival in the Park over the uh, four nights and three days of Memorial Day weekend. Uh, you can go to eventzone.org. Uh, there's an easy place where you can click and just email us and send us information about volunteering. We'll get back to you, I guarantee. Okay. Uh, or you, uh, on the Festival in the Park web, uh, website itself, which is um, RoanokeFestival.org, and you can get to those either way if you okay. get to one, or just Google, and and uh, there's volunteer ways to volunteer there, and we could use volunteers. We uh, we we also okay. are using 250 volunteers for Down by the River. So, wow! Uh, yeah, it's it's. So uh, anybody wants to come out and help, you'll take. It's them. truly a community event. Okay, awesome. So Festival in the Park is more about just having fun, though. It does have. Um, a scholarship fund that you raise money for. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Sure. Um, the um, scholarship for the arts is um, a way that Festival in the Park years and years ago started giving back uh, more to the community. Uh, uh, to date, there's about 100, over $120,000 we've given back to uh, students pursuing a arts degree. And right. uh, the uh, that arts degree definition is pretty broad. Mm -hmm. Include now includes culinary arts, for okay. instance. Uh, so the um, the Derby Day Gala. Uh, that is in May, uh, early May, uh, is part of that fundraising. So, but there's other ways as well at Festival in the Park. For instance, there's a youth art show, which is a very, very neat and very, uh, uh, just a terrific uh, element of Festival in the Park, mm -hmm. where middle school students provide art, and there's People's Choice Awards and so on and so forth, and judged, and uh, we give back um, art supplies to the schools as a result of that. So there's a lot of ways that the Festival and Park gives back in, in addition to just having a good time. Excellent. That sounds great. So um, do people come to run up for festival? I and mean, what kind of impact do you feel that festival has on the Valley? Well, for this year, for the first time, we are doing online ticketing for the concerts. And so it's hard to tell uh, where they come from during the day other than just kind of anecdotal, uh, you know, when you run in and talking to somebody. Right. But uh, uh, we get emails from people all over the region who come to the shows and um, uh, now we can actually see where they're coming from, which is kind of uh, uh, a new uh, with the e online ticketing. So, right. And the uh, website for that? 
the uh, the website just right off the festival okay. and park website uh, you can just go buy tickets now and it's the print at home ticketing uh, system this year that uh, you know when we scan as you come in you get in quicker right. uh, you don't have to uh, be carrying cash and uh, so on and so forth and uh, it's also discounted okay yeah. good deal all right well we're about to wrap up so if we'll just if you'll remind people the date I don't think we covered that and um, just the website once more sure. if you don't mind eventzone.org is the easiest way to remember it or just Google uh, Roanoke Festival in the park. Um, the dates are Memorial Day weekend. Uh, that's May 27 through May 30th. I okay. hope I'm correct. Mm -hmm. And of course we start uh, the, the day before on May 26th with bb and party in the park and that's with the Atlanta Rhythm Section. Yeah. So it's a very busy month. Excellent. Well, we're looking forward to it. Thanks so much, Larry. It was great to see you. And you can learn more about Festival in the Park on the Cox Community Calendar coming up during the break. I'm Margaret Hunter-Wade, and you are watching Round Roanoke on Cox 9.